if you've lived in New York, you know that the winter has its own set of struggles and it's a whole part of living there. And I mean, just visually, we're wearing coats and it's cold and that, you know, we, we tackle big issues like the heat in your apartment and, you know, the whole day-to-day -day life in the winter in New York is very different than the day-to-day -day life in the summer. Yeah, winter in New York, in Broad City, New York, looks heavy and sweaty still somehow and freezing and then also not freezing so because of global warming and kind of fall and spring-like weirdly. Um, and it looks frustrating as hell. Yes. I want to talk about romances. Where do these relationships go in season four? The number one romance in Broad City is between Abby and Alana. These friends and um, and that, kind of like the other romances that they have in the show, go deeper. I guess, you know, we kind of return to our romances, to be honest, because we just love those characters and we explore them. In new ways, though. All the characters are a little bit older and they're ex they're exploring, ex exploring those past romances, but it's in a new way. I want to talk about Florida. What was that That's experience true. like? I feel like we're in Florida right now. It, it has that same yeah. vibe, right? Um, shooting in Florida was insane for me personally because we shot at the elderly community uh, that I grew up going to every year. We, we wrote... literally shot in Alana's grandmother's apartment condo. Well, in the parking lot in of the, the condo. Lot. All the Still. all the interiors were in Flushing, Queens, because it looks exactly like Florida, because they all have condos. Alana there. also directed that episode. Yeah, but I, I directed this episode in the community. It was almost like shooting in my hometown, in my my in front of my house. But it was <laughs> whatever, because I'm a New York Jew. My grandma has a condo down there, so we shot down there. It was insane.